Over a year ago, I released the CRT AUG style hipster effect that was super hype then and it's the most hype effect in right now. I'm gonna show you how to do this exact same effect all in Premiere Pro. All you need is the footage and a one plugin that goes into Premiere Pro. So this video is sponsored by Zabex and more importantly, their plugin called Signal. For $40, you can do everything a video modulator can do all in Premiere Pro. You don't even have to go into After Effects. You don't have to set up anything. I bought this plugin the first day it came out and I've been using it ever since because I love this plugin so much. So this plugin is super simple. All you have to do is go to your effects. My effects panel is down here. Your effects panel might be up here. Go to the search and type in signal. Right here where it says Zabex signal, drag it onto your top clip. So once you drag the plugin on, you can already see it already gives that awesome CRT effect. It has this VHS line in it and it has the distortion lines, analog lines. How this plugin works is it actually changes your footage into analog footage and then back so it can do all these crazy analog effects. That's how you get these lines in here. So what I hated about my last video modulator is it never gave me these white lines. So the first effect I'm gonna show you how to do with this is how to get those crazy white lines you see like in a Bones video. All right, make sure you click the clip where the effect is on. Go to your effects control panel. And then right here where it says Luma modulation, just go ahead and open that up, change the frequency up. And now with this effect, you're gonna kinda wanna move slowly as if I'm spinning an actual DAO in a video modulator, the more I spin, the more exponentially crazy the effect is. So you don't really wanna move a lot. Starting at 0.62, I'm gonna increase this by clicking and dragging to the right to about two. And you can see right here, it's already doing this white line modulation effect I always loved about the video modulators. And I can change the phases to make it go into a different Luma setting, if that makes sense. But you see, I went up a little bit too much and I'm going to change this to about four or five. You can see this right here. If we just play this back like this, we can already see it get this cool effect and look at that, it took less than five seconds just to do this effect. I recommend going through each of these effects and changing them. And if you change one effect, it will change the look of the whole entire clip. But the ones I like the best is this signal amplification. I either bring that up a little bit and then I like to kind of skip and go to sharpen. This will give it more of a deep fried type of look. It, in certain situations, it looks good. And device to device connections, that's another one. But let's say I don't even want to mess with this. All I have to do is refresh everything and click this destruction button. Look at that. That's something I could not even do with my $200 video modulator plugin. And I always want to do this. Let's say I don't even want this Luma modulation. I can just open this tab right here, click turn off and all these white lines will go away. And then you have this crazy effect. There's endless possibilities with this plugin. And I'm not just saying that because they sponsored this. I'm saying, because this plugin is gonna change the game. That's how you know everyone's gonna be using this effect. I recommend getting it first, using it before everyone does because it's gonna be the number one effect. Going through some more of the effects in the Luma modulation with my previous destruction button turned on, I can also change the type of VHS we're emulating, which I usually don't see a difference, but it is changing. You can see right here. It's just another option you can use. When I have the destruction button on, I like to just increase this quantize real quick. Let me bring the lightness up. There it is. Now it does like an inverse seizure type effect and just having this flash in between your, let's say like I have a flash, invert flash, this will like make it times 10. Let's say you don't even want like these VHS tape errors. Guess what? I can take those off real quick. You see this tape errors button right here, click that boom all these go away here let me revert this so you can actually see what's going on boom all these vhs tape errors go away here let me put that back on if i want to change the vhs tape errors kind of like a uh, universe vhs where it has a thing on the side you can just change it so it doesn't look all nasty you can have it right across the screen you can have change the probability to say make it none or you know make it whatever have it fade in change the gamma. This is just one of the things you can do. So I'm gonna show you how to do one last effect is as a transition between two different clips. So with the original video modulators, you used to have two endpoints. You can have two AV feeds in and then spin the DAO to make it transition between each video file. Well, with this, you can pretty much do the same thing. So if we just look up signal again, drag it onto the first clip and drag it onto the second clip. Now we have two crazy CRT effects but we want like a TV like distortion effect. Well, all you have to do is go to your first clip right here 
and this is what's so dope about this plugin is I can keyframe the settings of it so it, they don't it doesn't always have to look like this so this is a TV distortion that's kind of like a wave warp would you say or like a VHS transition let's just go through it and then I'll explain the keyframing so if we do thick distortion it does like that but make sure to move your settings a little by little at a time if you do find distortion you get these tiny ones distortion speed so let's say if I have a, a thick one and distortion speed it would be how fast this thing is moving so like if I you can kind of see it already let me render this out so you guys can see so if you look at the clips right now we have crazy CRT to CRT clip right here and now let's do the transition like I said earlier we just have to click the first clip right here and that's what I like about this plugin so much is I don't have to worry about no dials I can keyframe it to exactly how I want it to look so I'm going to start around I guess about halfway but the first clip I'm opening up this TV distortion I like the thick distortion you can try the fine distortion and you can mess with the distortion speed and roll speed but I'm just gonna keep it quick I'm gonna keyframe this thick distortion I go to the end of the clip go one frame back so I can see go back to my effect controls and I'm just gonna drag this up to about right here to about 55 move that at the end now I'm gonna go back to my second clip click make sure I click it highlight it effect controls TV distortion raise that up to 55 boom make sure I keyframe this one as well and then halfway through I'm going to revert it now you have a TV effect just like this and then on top of that I can mess with the roll speed and distortion speed so let me just increase these up a little bit and then I'm gonna increase them up on the same effect sequence into out and then now we have a TV distortion effect like you would when with a regular video modular I'm telling you guys right now you need to get this plugin hop on it before everyone else hops on it be an early adopter get it you don't need to spend $500 anymore you don't need to worry about it and on top of that even if you do want the more CRT effect what's stopping you from putting this into a digital converter and then put it on a CRT and then just recording that you still don't have to spend $500 and no video modulator you'll need no cables is the best plugin I'm telling you to get it right now make sure you guys like and subscribe more tutorials coming soon thanks later